here's a video on the usual operating portable by the beach except for an addition. Below the FT817 is a linear amplifier. I'll be running about 50 watts and we'll see if that makes working DX any easier. I'm using an NFED half wavelength vertical on a squid pole for an antenna on 20 meters and right beside it is an L-match antenna coupler. VK3 Yankee Echo Running 50 watts, but I'll just drop the power back. I'm now running at two and a half watts, two and a half watts, two and a half watts. Roger, roger, roger. Roger. With a signal strength report like that over in France, let's try some CQ calls. Fox 6 America, Radio Charlie, over. You're about a 5, 7, 5 and 8 here. Yeah. The bend is uh, just opening up. I had my first contact at 6.20 p.m. One of the reasons for going portable and testing this amplifier is to see how long this 8400 milliamp hour battery lasts until I have to shut down. Uh, Victor Kilo 3, Yankee Echo, good afternoon. I am Italy Zulu Zero, Victor X-Ray Fox. Uh, my name is Gian Paolo. The senior reporter here is a 5i7. Okay, Victor Kilo 3, Yankee Echo. Calling CQ and listening. VK3 YE VK3 YE Delta Bravo 
Hit about five and seven, fifty-seven. Um, he's on around about fifty watts also to a TH11, which is down pretty low at the moment. Um, it is down around about thirty feet. Normally it's quite high. Well, the sun's just setting and it's 20 minutes to 8, meaning that the battery has gone for 90 minutes so far and it still seems to be okay. This is the summary of the contacts made. In just over an hour, something like 14 stations were worked in Europe, plus one VK6. The pace of contacts quickened greatly after I was put on the DX cluster. My signal with 50 watts was obviously enough to hold a frequency in Europe and for people to respond. If I was using much lower power, then that would unlikely to have been the case. As for the battery, well, the 8400 mAh is quite enough for a 50 watt amplifier and FT817. I actually left to go home before the battery was completely dead, but I'd estimate it would have given at least two hours of fairly intensive operating.